G'day, g'day. This is Stu Mack talking about change fitness. We've talked about the, the, the stages of change, the trans theoretical model of change and how we need to establish our change fitness and the, little, the mechanics, the anatomy of change, right? The process of change. Uh, in this, this video, I wanna talk about relapse and failure. And this is a really big topic uh, because in our society, we live in an individualist kind of society where what defines our, our sense of self is our achievements, at least in the West here in Australia, is our sense of achievement, what we achieve, what we do. And when we fail at achieving, it's easy for us to feel worthless about ourselves or for other people to say, well, why didn't you just try harder? You should have just done it. Or to compare ourselves to others and get all because we didn't do it like them. Oh, uh. <laughs> you know what? Failure is part of learning. It's part of growing. I remember years ago I had people in my studio um, and a class of, 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 of the more mature um, age bracket of our community and, uh, and, and we were doing lots of balance work in this class and they were they were complaining one week about how hard it was standing on one leg and doing resistance work and and it was unapologetically so and these people um were complaining about it one week and what i would explain to them was losing balance is kind of the whole idea with balance work the reason we do balance work is so that we will fail we put ourselves in gradually, safely, increasingly difficult situations that force our body to lose balance a little bit. And then what it does is the nervous system goes, oh, I can make this safer. And so through our little failures, through our uh, having to put the foot down on the ground and losing balance um, repeatedly over and over again, by doing that mindfully week over week over week, what happens is the central nervous system adapts to that. And it says, oh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you're, you're trying, you're trying to stand on one leg. Ah, oh. oh, okay. And so it, it reduces the amount of wobbling. So you go from wobbling all over the place like this to wobbling a little bit, to wobbling a little bit, to having tiny little adjustments in your foot when you're doing the balance work. You see, increasing stability is all about exposing yourself to failure. Because failure is not final. Failure does not define you and it does not define me. It doesn't define us by any stretch of the imagination, even though we want it to, even though we claim that it does, even though if you're like me, you have this commentary inside yourself that says, I'm hopeless, I'm useless, I'm worthless, why am I even here? Because I keep failing, because I keep, oh, I did it again, I did it again, I did it again, I did it again. And this is a story for another day. But, the worldview that we bring affects how we view failure. So I invite you to consider that failure and relapse are an important part of success because each time you fail, you can learn something from it. Each time something doesn't succeed, you learn from it. Now, I'm not saying that the next time you'll be successful. But what I am saying is that you learn that whatever you did or didn't do might not be the best strategy for success in this arena. And so what other strategies can you apply? Okay, that strategy didn't work. Can I try a different one? Or maybe that strategy did work and I just need to apply it again and again and again in a more refined way. You see, failure is not final. It's really hard to live with that when failure means your business didn't work, when failure means you're threatened with not being able to buy groceries for the week or pay off your mortgage in your house, when it means that your reputation is sullied, when it means that other people look at you and and, and might be telling stories about, about how you're just not successful or you're lazy or you procrastinate too much or you get too distracted. I've had it all said and thought about me and people still do say it about me again and again and I say it about me and I'm my worst critic. Failure is not final. Relapse is an important part of the change process because in relapse, we can learn things. We can learn to trust other people. 
We can learn to learn new things. We can learn to resource ourselves. We can learn to plan better for future um, transformations. We can learn to be more healthy in areas of our life. Relapse is an opportunity to change in a new way. Failure, my friends, is not final. Relapse is an important part of transformation. All we have to do is pick ourselves up and take one step forward. Just one breath more. That's it. That's the process of change. So I invite you now to consider in what area have you wrestled the most with failure? Or in what area have you seen other people in your life wrestle the most with failure, with relapse? And how for those people or for yourself, can you see that as an opportunity for growth? What lessons can be learned? What planning, what strategies can be refined? Because as you keep trying to succeed, you'll discover new ways of being that are healthy and healthful and transformative. And at the end of your life, you may well look back and go, wow, failure really wasn't final. And I really did learn a whole bunch of stuff. And I really am a better person for it. Because failure and relapse are an important part of the change process. And they lead you toward the success that you're striving for. If you're down and out and you're feeling heavy today, I just want to encourage you that failure is not final. One step forward, one breath more. If you like the video, please do like it. Share it round. Subscribe if you want. You don't have to. Most of all, remember that failure is not final. One step forward, one breath more. This is Stu Max signing off.